Good morning, everybody. It's Michelle Newton here, the Aussie Angel Lady, with your daily angel reading for today, Friday the 24th of June, 2022. Um, Thank you for being here. If you're on the replay, it's still a, re a reading for you. Please like and share this video because that might be a message somebody needs to hear. Um, I look forward to seeing who's on the call. Please let me know. Uh, check out my oracles on my website, michellenew10.com. That's the Michael Oracle. This is my new one, the Angel Rose Oracle. Please let me know where you live and send me some hearts. So I've actually, oh, give these a little shuffle. There we go. Just felt they needed a little bit more. And this is our main card from the uh, Angel Feather Oracle. Oh, money's about to manifest, people. I've got an itchy nose. Archangel Michael's in the house. The angels ask that you feel the marvelous feeling of anticipation. You are about to receive an abundance of money. This is awesome news. Fabulous. Okay, let's see what else we've got to go with this card. Archangel Michael will tune into him now and we'll ask him for his thoughts on the money card. So we'll shuffle away. Please tell me where you're coming to me from, what town or city you live in, country even might be better, because we go all over the world. Cards are clumped. Ah, oh, mystery, dress in black. Archangel Michael is present and asks you to call on the protective colour of black as a means to shield you. So that sits on the money card. Let's see what else the angels have to say to us through the Angel Rose Oracle, dedicated to St. Teresa and all the other archangels as well. Every card is named after an actual rose bush that you can buy. So let's see what rose we have for you today. To go with our money reading. Ooh, I've got my green on today. My citrine that assists with finances. <gasps> Excitement. Blessings. The rainbow. This is excitement. Let me read on it. Might be a day to buy a little lotto. But if you do, I'd only buy one line. You don't need to buy a million lines. You're only going to win with one line, people. I'm not promoting gambling, but I'm just saying... Open the avenues, if you're guided, only if you're guided. Let's see. Um, because, you know, sometimes the angels need ways to bring it to you, but do not buy multiple tickets. You need one line, like a $2. That's it. The rainbow, beautiful rainbow, is a fortunate sign for your future and denotes a change in your present conditions. It brings promised relief after stormy experiences, relinquishing difficulties and worries. So worry will repel your manifesting too, guys. So if you're feeling worried, you need to do something to stop it. Seriously, write down your worries and burn them or put on some essential oils to calm yourself down or go for a walk or take a deep breath, something. The angel altar is a blank canvas, so that's what we're talking about here awaiting your creativity now your money's in your creativity you know that that's what i teach you and attentive loving personal touches will promote a strong spiritual connection with god in the angelic realm i'm huge on angel altar work you know that i've written a book on it check it out on my website it's not available as a download and as the you know real real thing meditation visualization techniques will assist your manifestations to come into reality quickly and why not quickly? Why do we have to wait 10 years? Say, so, angels, I'd like it now, please. Thank you very much. Not in 10 years, today. Be wonderful. Thank you. The rainbow of blessings positioned directly above the altar reciprocates your loving intentions and prayers quite miraculously with positive ventures, uplifting relationships, improved finances and better health. You know that your health is your wealth. So, you know, it's not just always about money, but uh, your health is your wealth. So some people may need an improvement in that area. The rainbow ultimately guides your path in a joyous direction. So other symbologies here, the rainbow, universal blessings, joy, celebration, contemplation, the seven rays, chakras, spiritual glory, the clouds, you can see there's clouds there. Mood, so I told you about your mood and how you're feeling will actually um, assist or 
you know, repel your meditation, your, your manifestation. Your mood, your growth protection, clouds are protective. Intuition, clearing the air, personal purification or divine power. The rainbow and the clouds together are material wealth. Okay, so that's great symbology. The altar is a focus for worship, spiritual communication, gratitude, gratitude and meditation. And wisdom from the little flower, St. Therese. This is something St. Therese would actually wrote. If a little flower could speak, it seems to me that it would tell us quite simply all that God has done for it without hiding any of its gifts. Ponder on that one, guys. Ponder on that. So that's a beautiful reading. What I would say with these cards sitting together, it's definitely about your money, but protect your money. If you actually are delivered some money today, like you manifest some money or some abundance or whatever, don't tell anyone. This is a black is the hidden rainbow. We've got the rainbow here. This is hiding it. If you tell everyone, everyone will have their hand out. Mum, mum, or sister, or mother, or cousin that you haven't heard of for 10 years, do not tell anyone. Don't talk about your money today. Don't talk about your manifestations. Don't talk about what you were wanting to manifest. Keep it to yourself. Under the halo is what I say. Because when people get on to stuff, hands out, hands out, hands out, hands out. Oh, you owe me that. Or, you know, you should give me this. Or, oh, you know what it's like. So under the halo type of manifestation here. Let me know what extra card you'd like me to draw now. Feather, Michael, or Rose, if you can write it in the comments for me. Feather, Michael, or Rose. Please send me some hearts. I love that. Ladies, if you're not in my closed group, Manifesting Prosperity and Abundance of Spiritual Women, we'd love to see you in there. We're doing a, an amazing live market on Tuesday night with crystals and beautiful spiritual tools. We'd love to see you in there. The link is at the bottom of this description under this video. Please go forth and join. We'd love you in there because they are really amazing bargains that we offer you. Um, another thing on my website, I'm running a 50% uh, off end of financial year sale, which I've never done before, on my Michelle Newton website. So 50% off our crystal kits. So I just want to show you a couple more. This one's a migraine kit. These are all half price on the website. The link's in the description. A confidence kit. See the size of these stones? They're not little chips. Because a lot of the kits you'll get, oh, they're awful. We make these ourselves. A sleep kit. You need improved sleep. Go there. Half price. So they're between, I think they're around seven to eight dollars each. And the other thing I have 50% off is our little crystal card range, which we make. And they've got a little envelope, so they're a great gift. These are down to three twenty-five. It's ridiculous. Fifty percent off. That's an Archangel Gabriel Raphael one, Archangel Uriel one. Then we've got a Citrine one. I chose this before I did the reading. Great for your money. And this is Rhodonite. That's that's a gorgeous one. It's the Stone of Unconditional Love. So there, there you go. The links for those are in the description. Go forth, people. Let's see what people have chosen. Feather, rose, rose. Feather, rose, feather. Oh, it's joint. A few more people. Tell me what you like. Feather, rose or Michael. Feather, rose or Michael. And if I choose the one that you've intuitively picked, it's an extra special message for you when I draw this card. Go forth, ladies. Let me know in the comments. Feather, rose or Michael. The next one. Feather, it is. Okay, feather it is. We'll go to the bottom of the deck since they're pre-shuffled. Oh, take action now. The red angel feather. The angels advise <clears throat> that a project or idea you have been working on is finally nearing the point of transformation. So your abundance, as I said in the reading, if you missed half of it, go back and listen again, is usually where your money sits is in your creativity. Okay? So... It's what you produce, usually with your hands in some form, and your brain and your intuition. So if you've written a book or, you know, my crystal kits that we make, that that's, will bring abundance. 
um, and I've just told you about a special, so that could bring me money today because I've advertised it and not been shy about it. The candle you make. Um, you might be a motivational speaker, but you've typed it out, you know, before you've got there. So usually your hands are involved in some way. You've made a blanket. You've crocheted a bunny rug. You've you've um, potted up plants. You could be an interior designer. You could, you know, whatever you create. You could be a painter. You could be a cook. You could, whatever you do, any way that you... Look at what you love doing and look at your creative talents and skills because that's where your money is. Also, you must be passionate about it. You see, this is the red. You must be passionate about it. Do not try and sell something that you don't like. I've seen it before. I've seen it in my family. I've seen someone in my family try and sell makeup and they don't even wear makeup. You know what I mean? You're not going to do any well. You're not going to do well. You're not. You have to be passionate about it. I've seen someone in my family sell toys and they were passionate about toys. Love them. Still do. They still love toys. And she did all sorts of different toys. She did toy party plan and eventually she ended up having a toy shop. And um, it was her passion. So what's your passion? Do what your passion is or something related to it. If you can produce something, it is great. Again, don't tell too many people about it until your project's done or ready to launch. If you're launching something today, it's a great day because it'll bring you money, okay? Don't tell anyone until it's out there because people, um, unfortunately, um, can't think for themselves and like to steal other people's ideas. Just, just a fact. Um, so you keep things under your halo, as I said. So action, creativity, what you're passionate about, will bring you money today, okay? And I'll tell you something else that's creative and that's marketing. Because if you can't sell, the beautiful things you put hours in, these Oracle card decks, I cannot tell you how many hours the angels and I worked on these, plus other people that I involved, my graphic designers, my proofreaders, my printers, whoever it was. There's been hours and hours and hours and hours, hundreds and hundreds of hours writing and correcting and editing and getting the graphics and all that sort of stuff right. What's the point in doing it if you're not going to tell anyone about it? And the way to tell people about it is through marketing and speaking. So that's, you know, and it's your passion. So why wouldn't you want someone to have this? This is this is my best seller. It's the first thing I ever did. It is my best seller. People love it. It's 44 different colored feathers. It is color therapy and angel therapy combined. It's like two oracles in one, and it's still my biggest seller. The others sell amazingly well as well. And I read with the three together now, and it's like my trilogy. The readings are just amazing. So there you go. That's our reading for today. I won't um, hold you up any longer. Ladies, I want to say hello to a few people, though. Um, Barbara's from Ireland. Welcome, dear friend. Rosie, hello, darling. How are you? Lila, lovely to have you here. Jenny, Barbara, Diane, Amanda, Lily, Lilia, Christine, Marie. Hello, thanks for the hearts, Marie. Christine, Sharon. Pauline, Amanda, Diane, Christy, hello darling, uh, Gina, Contessa, Belinda, Joya, what a pretty name, Sharon, Mary, Lindsay, Angela, Melissa, so many people on here, Diane, hello darling, Darlene, Kathy, Sandy, and Sharon, I think I've got everyone. Welcome. Please like and share the video. I so appreciate that. That's being a light worker. Sharing is caring and it's great for my business. And I appreciate you. Have a look at the, the description. You can get yourself into the group by clicking the bottom link. The other two links are there for the Crystal Kits half price. This is just my end of financial year sale and my little crystal cards for three twenty five. For the love of God, beautiful little gift. So there you go. We love to get things out to you that it's going to help you with your manifesting and help you connect with your angels so that you can live the best life that's available to you right now, not in 10 years' time right now. Have a great day. Totally pip. Bye.